Hey guys, in this video we're gonna have a look on how I made the stir fries animation with Iron Man. So it's very exciting. Let's begin it. So if you have a look at these, there are so many objects going on and uh, they're literally made by me because th that was a challenge for me and I have challenged myself to make everything from scratch and not to use any asset from internet. So this is very exciting because uh, I love what I made and I think there must be some uh, sort of weaknesses in the scene but I don't care about it because I like it. So as you can see we have so many objects going on and in this video I will show you how I model different stuff. But first of all let's talk about Iron Man model. Well I downloaded it from a Sketchfab. Uh, you can go to Sketchfab and uh, search for Iron Man free model. And you will see so many models going on as you can see we have these big monsters Iron Man model and other models as well which are rigged and as you can see it's very detailed it's totally for free so you can use any kind of model from internet uh, by the way I'm not uh, a modeler a great modeler to model characters but uh, I can model different stuff like as you saw but I just use Iron Man from uh, the Sketchfab and then you made a other model for myself and I will show you how I made uh, different models and also how I uh, simulated the stir fries in the video so it's going to be very exciting let's begin it and uh, if you have a look at these there are so many model on Sketchfab that can work for you and uh, you know they are totally free and this is what I love and they're also rigged which is pretty good which uh, okay so hey is the scene and uh, if you look at this I'm just going to material view oh I'm on workbench I'm gonna change okay so here we go we're in material view if you have a look at this this look very you know detail but it's actually not so much because we have made everything very easily and I will show you how I made it once you understand the physics behind that you will be able on how things works here because it's super easy to make and uh, yeah there are many objects like uh, this object it is modeled by me this one this one and uh, this one which are easily modeled but this main object is uh, a little bit harder because I was not having uh, an idea what I'm going to make actually I have saw a video from Hubert uh, a great uh, blender artist and I just model okay so here is the asset the little asset that make the scene very dense and I will show you how I made, made those asset from scratch as you can see I have so many reference images but I will show you how I made these uh, this object this one and you will learn how to do it let's begin it okay first of all what we gotta need we need a reference image and this reference image must be from a side angle let's make object number one and uh, okay so let's open up this reference scale it up as you can see something like that and move it like that okay so now it's time to uh, click shift a add a circle scale it up like that and then move it up and then go to a top view edit mode go to vertex selection scale it up and then hit e and then scale down and try to match it with the reference image and then e and then extrude it downward and then e and then scale it smaller just make a low poly version of it and then we will you know you will unwrap these to make it perfect so i'm just trying to move these around to match it with the reference image i'm just gonna extrude it like that and maybe i'm gonna move it downward okay let's see what we can do with it i'm gonna move it okay so i'm just gonna select this one uh maybe Control z i'm just going to move it up like that and then hit a shift d rotate on y on 180 degree like that and then select this uh, outer edge and this one and then go to edge bridge edge loops and it will bridge all of those edges together now it's time to shade it smooth and go to edit mode uh, select these and then hit f okay go to top view edit mode u and project from view and now project it same as in the reference just do it like that and add a material into it with the same image texture okay so let's just project it as you can see we have modeled a whole model but there's a problem of stretching i'm going to select these and then hit u q projection scale it down and unwrap these on other model in the scene like that 
if it's not matching change it until it gets better like that i'm gonna change okay i think that's look perfect now go to shutter editor add a bump node to connect it with the height and then connect the normal with the normal and it will add a spicy details into it yeah object number two okay so now let's add an image as a plan i'm gonna add this image i'm gonna scale it up i'm gonna rotate it a 90 negative 90 degree and i'm gonna scale it like that and as you can see we have so many objects but i'm just gonna model these two objects uh with the new way uh it's usually the same way but i'm just gonna show you how i did it okay so now click k for a knife tool and trace around the object and you might be familiar with this uh, way but i will show you how to do it actually i'm just gonna i have actually modeled every model by this way and this is pretty easy and i know this is not a professional way of modeling but yeah it's good for some smaller detail if you don't want to take time and uh, if you don't want to give it the time you can just try this away and i'm just gonna trace around these object like that and uh, go and hit enter as you can see we have this model but it's not actually a model it's a face now we'll trace around with these inner objects like that and yeah now we'll trace around this object hit enter that's it and now it's time for the other objects trace around the object uh doing by doing so you will be able to get two objects in the price of one yeah. and now it's time to trace around with those holes hit enter then trace around that hole and then hit enter and then this one and then hit enter it's super easy you know i'm going to, going to select it i'm gonna click x and delete and now delete this one it's time to delete the objects from the uh, faces from the holes here we go and yeah that's nice okay so now it's a flat surface we want it to be to be like a 3d object select one of the objects hit p and separate it from the first one we have two objects now set the origin to center of the mouse go to edit mode of the one object uh, select uh, the whole object in edit mode and then hit shift d duplicate it and move it down like that now it's time to select the edges uh, of the upper object uh, select them like that and now select the downward edges around the object like that by clicking control which uh okay so now edge bridge edge loops and as you can see but it's stretched well we can fix it go to face selection uh select these edge uh, faces and hit u q projection go to uv editor and uh let me just change the uv image to which one that one okay so click a select it scale it down and uh, uv end rip on the top of the object like that and it will likely fix the problem as you can see it looks good now do the same for the other object select it shift d duplicate it and then select around the edges like that uh, first the downward object then the upper object uh, something like these and uh, yeah cool now edge and uh, bridge edge loops you q projection scale it down move it right here and just do it now do it for the inner objects uh, which is pretty easy and following the same steps select the both of them and then just bridge edge loops you and you project project it to here and yeah do it the same for the holes here you might be asking why I've not extruded it. It's because it was messed up. And you can also try it, but it will not work. So I duplicated this. Okay, so now as you can see, we have completed the model, which is pretty cool. And now it's time for some... Okay, so if you have a look at this, I have modeled this object, which is pretty detailed. And I'm really happy with it. As you can see, there is some sort of fire inside it, which is looks realistic from one angle. But if you move around, it will look fake. But from one angle, it does look realistic and it seems like a simulation. Now it's time for some stir fries, which is pretty easy. Okay, so here is what we have in the scene. We have these uh, bones. I'm just going to hide them for now uh, because we don't need it. Okay, select the 
Okay, so as you can see, it's the animation. Now select these uh, object and uh, let's just go. I have applied collision. I have added collision into that object. So it will interact with the cloth. And uh, now it's time to add some cloth. Sorry, not cloth, stir fries. I will scale it down and we'll try it out. Uh, I think I'm going to scale it down in object mode. Scale it down, move it up and scale it down apply the scale go to edit mode scale it uh, maybe down scale it on x-axis add a loop cut here and here select it and hit you uh, sorry subdivide uh, scale it like that scale it down like that and now if you go to top view you're going to duplicate it so shift d duplicate it maybe we can scale it on y-axis I'm just going to show you how I did this, okay? I'm not going to go for another details on how I, um, you know, did so many stuff like animation for the character, but I'm just going to show you how I did the stir fry simulation. I'm just going to duplicate them multiple times. Maybe I can duplicate them um, um, at once. I'm just going to select all of them, shift D and move them up. Maybe I can scale them down, uh, individual origins, and then scale it down. So now I think we have stir fries ready. Now it's time for some simulation. Okay, so apply scale and set the origin to center of the moss and okay, go to the first frame and now it's time I think for simulation. So I'm just going to select this uh, cubes, add a cloth simulations into it, make the quality steps to 15, uh, scroll down, make the vertex mass to 8 and uh, just slightly and turn on internal spring like that and uh, just go and under collision turn on self collision um, and decrease the distance value like that so they collide perfectly and I go to cache and I think we can bake it okay so it just looks good I think and uh, if you play it as you can see, we have some sort of uh, simulation. I'm going to show you this smooth. And if we just play it, uh, it does look really good. You know, uh, you can play around it with it. I mean, you can maybe you can scale it down. You can increase the number or decrease the number. Or maybe you can just uh, play around with the physics settings. And I'm just going to show you uh, some steps that you can fix some sort of things. I'm just going to decrease the friction maybe in the uh, collision object and uh, I'm going to select the cloth. I'm going to delete the back and re it and try to see it, uh, what if the friction affect the stir fries. But you have an overall idea on how I made this simulation. And now it's totally up to you how you want the simulation to be. You can play around with different values, different settings to make it perfect. And... Uh, it's baking right now and let's see what we get here um, let's see and for the materials we use the same sort of things uh, on ripping them from other images to make them realistic oh shit they're moving out of this uh, pot but I think I can add a collision object like a sphere and I'm gonna share it smooth move it up I'm going to go to top view, I'm going to move it like that and uh, maybe we can go to side view and select some top, top vertices and delete them by clicking X and delete vertices. Now tape, uh, maybe we can move it up slightly, edit shift N and uh, go to modifier, add a solidify modifier to add some thickness into it. And then we're going to add a physics, which is a collision. And uh, yeah, now if we go to cloth simulation, I'm going to delete the back and re try to re back these. So I re backed it and uh, I might got wrong for some... Okay, so they're actually sticking to the other collision object. That's because we don't have the same shape as the pot have. And now it's confused. But you can play around with the shape of the another sphere to match it with the pot. And you have an overall idea how I did it. Okay, so I think I don't want to make it more longer, and uh, that's fine. No, I'm going to show you how I made those waters, and they're pretty easy to make. So let's see how we can make it. So I'm just going to go to uh, so Solid View. 
I'm just gonna show you how I did it. Well, I'm using an add-on for this job. I'm gonna add one cube, shift D, and another cube to here. I'm gonna go to edit mode. I'm gonna put the link to the same add-on in the description down below. Search for slime add-on. Here we go. And turn this on to get some slime there. And it's totally free. I'm gonna select these two objects and then click add uh, if you go to side and just go to slime add slime and uh, it will add some sort of uh, wires and this is what we want now select the slime and uh, you can play around with the different values because it's a geometry based and that's why that's perfect and you have so many options you can play around with it you can move it around you can just animate it if you want you can use the same um, setup for making some monsters slime and uh, yeah that's it and go to as you can see it have perfect material for you you can also play around with the material and if you go to camera view i have this animation so guys thanks for watching if you want to get the same content like that you can just hit the subscribe button and also like this video share it with your friend if you're interested in and also tell us in the comment section below how you uh, how it was and you can ask any question so thanks for watching